Arian, you're a trader and an investor, programmer and automation expert, best-selling author. A 17-year-old who has already accomplished so much in a short time span. What most of us want to know is how. How did you do it? I'd say there are the two main things. Firstly, I'm, I truly am passionate about um, problem solving. You know, it's, it's, it's really interesting to me to identify a problem that needs to be solved and just trying to find a way to solve it. And that's really what I hope to, to do in the future as well, because, um, you know, it's, I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm contributing to something greater than myself, let's say, right? The main advantage that I've got in a way uh, you know, I'm not like the son of a billionaire. I don't have a million dollars in my account. I don't have a million connections and I don't have any major advantages that are gonna give me a head start compared to, to everyone else, right? So I figured I needed to, I needed to create an advantage, right? Because um, it's the only way I'm gonna be able to set myself apart from, from the average Joe. And I, I figured that the, the perfect advantage would be time, starting early. Uh, because I get to make mistakes now. I've made hundreds of mistakes that I wish I didn't make. But that's the whole purpose of what I'm doing now, to just learn from it. And uh, I make these mistakes and then when everyone else is going to be making mistakes in the future, I would have already figured it out. So this is sort of my strategy for, let's say, setting myself apart. We participate in this national competition in Iran where we were tasked with developing a self-driving car. Uh, virtual, of course, not a real one, but uh, it had to go through, like, it had to overcome certain obstacles put in front of it or complete certain tasks, let's say, um, collect little blocks that were a specific color, right? A uh, simple task, but it was a very advanced um, program that we had, to, we had to write, and we wrote that in, in the course of a year, I think. Um, so we participated there, and that's when I really, you know, let's say, fell in love with this line of work. Every time we added a little feature, solved the problem, or did something new with our project, it's, it's as if it was our own creation, right? So we experienced, let's say, this sudden rush of excitement and pride, really, uh, which is why I've continued my work even after I left the team uh, and came to Cyprus. I wanted to branch out in a way, and it's always been my thing to jump from one branch to another. I can't make up my mind. I thought it would be a good idea if I mixed the, the technology let's say, um, aspect of it with another field. Uh, so I decided to learn the basics and let's say fundamentals of trading and investment. Um, I started learning, I, I didn't really take any courses. My dad had a bit of knowledge, I, I collaborated with him. He taught me the ways and I researched on the internet and I practiced really, I mean, that was, that was my number one key to, let's say, learning it in such little time, just practicing. And it took me around two years to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish, I mean, I was 16, I think, uh, when I developed my first uh, AI system that was, you know, functional and capable of analyzing different financial markets automatically uh, without you having to do anything and it would make decisions for you, it would trade for you and you know, hopefully it would be profitable. And that's because I taught it, you know, certain strategies that I learned along the way. And it used to take a lot of data in and uh, analyze the data and try to make a decision based on it. So I, I developed that and it was intended for personal use in the beginning. After it was completed, I was like, uh, I wanna, I wanna share this with, with others. I'm gonna make something good out of it. You've been involved in many projects as part of the tech teams. How has Cyprus provided the perfect platform for online projects? Cyprus has been a great platform for my work, especially because it's online. Um, you know, it's a, uh, the target audience isn't as as large as some other countries, and you can't reach as many people. Um, but that's fine for an uh, for an online business because if you really want to expand overseas and you want to serve you know a lot of customers you can um, you can base your operations in Cyprus and you can market your uh, service or product globally and uh, that's really thanks to, to the internet you can put ads anywhere in the world you can target them specifically to another country um, to s people with specific interests so um, if you want to build an online business on a large scale you know, it doesn't really matter how big the country is. It's just about how how easy it is for you to work in it. And for me, it's been perfect because it's a small but certainly powerful community in, in Cyprus. And it's much easier to get to know people. And, um, you know, and, and, and online businesses sort of lack the, on, the social aspect of work. So Cyprus sort of complements that. 
You're expanding your work in the culinary industry. How do you plan to revolutionize this sector? I'm working with, uh, with restaurants to provide uh, digital menus and uh, quickmeals.com is a recipe website that uh, will hopefully expand you know, overseas as well. We already have users from every continent actually. It's happened to everyone, I'm sure. You open the door uh, to, the, to the fridge and it's full, but you still don't know what to make with it or you don't know what to eat. And we've, we really realized that that's a problem that even we're experiencing. So if you could somehow solve that, make a platform where you can go on there and say that I've got these ingredients, I've got you know, chicken and rice, so what can, I, what can I make with it? And we would give you the perfect recipe. We thought it'd be a good idea and that's why we started Quick Meals. And you know, it grew over time. So now it's not just with ingredients, we don't just filter it with ingredients. We, you can filter it based on calories, a specific diet that you have, uh, the time it takes to make it. Anyone can use our services. I mean, as long as you have a mobile phone or, or a laptop or any sort of technology in your house, you can use our services. Right now, we're working on, on developing uh, a new platform for the first uh, project, Revo Trading, uh, the FinTech one. And with this platform, we try to make uh, analyzing different markets as effortless as possible. You know, in the future, if you can't look back on the journey that you've had and, and really be proud of it, um, then, you know, what's the point? And uh, I, I've, I've said this m multiple times. I mean, it's one thing that I, that I say, and people usually, uh, you know, they get confused when I say it. But in, in 40 years, let's say, I'm going to have grandchildren. I'm going to want to have it, some stories to, to tell them, right? So uh, that's sort of what keeps me going, living a unique life that's never been uh, lived before. But I have to say that um, I don't think that you should go down an entrepreneurial or a business path to live a remarkable life. I mean, that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, it's just a, a personal preference for me, something that works for me. And, and frankly, I find uh, making money and working quite boring and, and exhausting, really. Uh, it's the element of problem solving that motivates me to do it. Uh, so that, that's why I like it. But, you know, I don't think you should go down an entrepreneurial path to, to have a good life or have a life you're proud of. It's just doing something you're passionate about, something you really like doing. That's what matters the most in my opinion.